Yellow Sun was the first British operational high-yield strategic nuclear weapon. The name actually refers only to the outer casing. The warhead or physics package was known as Green Grass in Yellow Sun MK.1 and Red Snow in Yellow Sun MK.2. The any or electronic neutron initiator generator was Blue Stone. Topic: <laughs> Design The casing was some 21 feet (6.4 meters) long, 48 inches (1.2 meters) in diameter. The Mark I version with the green grass warhead weighed 7,250 pounds (3,290 kilograms). The MK.2 version with the lighter 1,700 pounds (770 kilograms) Red Snow warhead had ballast added to maintain overall weight, ballistic and aerodynamic properties, and avoid further lengthy and expensive testing and changes to the electrical power generating and airburst fuse. Unlike contemporary United States bombs of similar destructive power, Yellow Sun did not deploy a parachute to retard its fall. Instead it had a completely flat nose which induced drag, thereby slowing the fall of the weapon sufficiently to permit the bomber to escape the danger zone. Additionally, the blunt nose ensured that Yellow Sun did not encounter the transonic, supersonic shock waves which had caused much difficulty with barometric fusing gates which had plagued an earlier weapon, Blue Danube. Electrical power was supplied by duplicated ram air turbines located behind the twin air intakes in the flat nose. The earlier Blue Danube design had relied on lead acid batteries which had proven to be both unreliable and to require time-consuming pre-flight warming. <laughs> <laughs> Warheads Topic. Green bamboo Yellow Sun Stage 1 and Stage 2 were the original designations. Stage 1 was intended as an interim design to carry a 1 megaton green bamboo warhead of the layer cake type thought similar to the Soviet Joe.4 and the U.S. alarm clock concepts. These hybrid designs are not now regarded as truly thermonuclear, but were then thought to be a stepping stone on the route to a fusion bomb. Stage 2 was to follow when a true thermonuclear warhead based on the granite design became available. The 45-inch diameter of green bamboo determined the 48-inch diameter of both Yellow Sun and the Blue Steel missile. <laughs> <laughs> green grass After Green Bamboo was abandoned a decision was made to use the interim megaton weapon known as Green Grass in the Yellow Sun casing and designated as Yellow Sun MK.1 until better warheads were available for a MK.2. Green Grass was of similar layout to Green Bamboo, although it was not thermonuclear, being a very large unboosted pure fission warhead that was based in part on the core of the Orange Herald device tested at Grapple, with some of the implosion and firing features of Green Bamboo. Twelve Green Grass warheads were fitted in larger, older casings derived from Blue Danube and known as Violet Club. These twelve warheads were later transferred to the Yellow Sun MK.1 casings and supplemented by further warheads totaling 37. Green grass yield was originally stated to the Royal Air Force RAF as 500 kilotons of TNT equivalent 2.1 petajoules, but the designer's estimate was later revised downwards to 400 knots of TNT. The green grass warhead was never tested. It used a dangerously large quantity of fissile material, thought to be in excess of 70 kilograms 150 pounds, and considerably more than an uncompressed critical mass. It was kept subcritical by being fashioned into a thin-walled spherical shell. To guard against accidental crushing of the core into a critical condition, the shell was filled with 133,000 steel ball bearings, weighing 450 kilograms (990 pounds). In a conflict, these would have had to be removed before flight. The RAF thought it unsafe. Topic: Red Snow. Red Snow was the USW-28 warhead used in the USMK-28 nuclear bomb. This was anglicised to adapt it to British engineering practices, and manufactured in Britain using British fissile materials. 
For further information see the deployment section below. Topic: <laughs> Deployment Deployment started in 1959–60. The RAF service designations were BOM, Aircraft He 7000 pounds HCMK.1 or BOM, Aircraft He 7000 pounds HCMK.2. Yellow Sun MK.1 was intended as an «emergency» weapon, and had not been engineered for reliable long-term stockpiling. It was always envisaged that a MK.2 version would be available later fitted with a true thermonuclear warhead derived from the granite type tested at Grapple, or an American type made available after the 1958 Anglo-US bilateral agreement. It was carried only by RAF V-bombers. In September 1958 a decision was made to abandon the granite type warheads intended for Yellow Sun MK.2 and Blue Steel, and Blue Streak MRBM and instead adopt the USW-28 warhead used in the US MK-28 nuclear bomb. This was anglicised to adapt it to British engineering practices, and manufactured in Britain using British fissile materials and known as Red Snow. Red Snow was more powerful, lighter and smaller than green grass. It was always envisaged that the Yellow Sun bomb casing would be adapted for successor warheads to minimize unessential development time and cost. Yellow Sun Mk. 2 entered service in 1961, and remained the primary airdrop strategic weapon until replaced with Wii, 177B in 1966. Although the first British-designed thermonuclear weapon to be deployed, Yellow Sun was not the first to be deployed with the RAF. US MK-28 and MK-43 thermonuclear bombs and others had been supplied to the RAF for use in V-bombers prior to the deployment of Yellow Sun. Some bombers of the V-force only ever used American weapons supplied under dual-key arrangements. See also Rainbow Codes Notes <laughs>